Today we are going to talk about restoring shrubs. There are different reasons to do this. To contain its size, help it perform better if it's getting straggly, or you might want to emphasize colorful new leaves or stems of a plant. Restoration is a good project to take on in March so that the plant's energy will be pumped into producing those new stems and leaves. Restoring early in the season also gives the plant a chance to recover and strengthen during the year. Not every shrub can be restored like this, but the types of shrubs that could be restored included chase tree, butterfly bush, rose of Sharon, smoke bush, and the dogwood shrub types with colorful stems like the red osier dogwood. Okay, so to take on this project, the tools you will need include a handsaw, loppers, and hand pruners. Today we are going to restore a chased tree, or vitex. The first thing you want to do is take a look at the shape of the shrub as it is and decide how you want it to grow. Here we want to maintain a vase shape, so we want to cut the limbs below where they begin to bend away from the center. We are going to cut this vitex down to about three feet. If you are restoring a dogwood shrub, also called Cornus cerisia, you would cut the oldest branches all the way to the ground. The wood in many of these types of shrubs can be soft, and our cavity nesting bees might be using them for their burrow hives, so we look for evidence of holes. If we find them, we save that part of the branch and leave it upright in a protected area of the garden to help promote our native insect population. We start by lopping off the upper layers of the shrub. This takes the weight off the limbs, plus helps you see the structure of the lower part of the shrub. Next, we saw off the branches at the selected locations. Look for a bulge in the bark, which shows where growth activity can occur, and cut just above the bulge at an angle. Doing it that way keeps water from collecting and rotting the wood. If you are cutting a larger branch, it's a good idea to make a few strokes of the saw on the side that you're cutting towards to prevent tearing of the bark. As you can see, the main branches can be cut quite low, even though the diameter is around three inches. Once you're done, it'll look stubby, but don't worry. Later this season, this Vitex is going to look like this.